Hello, this is Christovar, and welcome to episode 22 of Putting the Baseball Card Collection Together. In these episodes, I do just that. I work on putting my baseball card collection together. Um, feel free to either work on your collection or crack open some packs or just kick back, relax, take a nap, whatever. These are long form, so they're always going to be between whatever, 20 and 30 minutes. Um, I was going to tr try to figure out how to splice this together. I don't have a program right now. Uh, so eventually, hopefully, there'll be one long video. But um, for the foreseeable future, they're just going to be split up into parts. So this is part one, I guess. I mean, part one, unless I figure out how to splice it again. I don't know. My other computer is taken apart that has the thing on it that can do it. So I can't do that because I don't, don't really feel like putting the darn thing together because that desk is all taken apart. But anyway, so here we go. Kick back, relax, whatever. Um, so I'm just going to show you a few things that I received um, first, I guess. I'll show you the, the hits that you didn't even, that were not shown yet, um, which is what I received on my out of my hobby boxes that I didn't open on my cha uh, YouTube channel. And that is, these items right here are what I received. I got two, had two hobby boxes open. So I have received one, one Chrome, wah, wah. It was uh, numbered to 999, 82L199, 862L199, sorry about that. And then here's the two hits I got. Trey Turner, nice re little relic card. Um, yeah, it's not numbered. And then a uh, piece of bat, Wilson Contreras bat piece relic. It's not numbered, it's just bat. And then box toppers. Um, so in one, I'm not sure what happened. I may have gotten two things in one and one in the other because I have this giant turkey red here. Got this giant turkey red of... Labor Torres, pretty nifty. It's like a giant card. <laughs> turkey red, even though none of the turkey red cards are actually red. <laughs> but I'm sure there's a backstory to that, and I'm not going to tell it right now. Okay, and then this one here was, it may have been the, in with that same box stopper, I'm not sure. Probably was because it was stacked with it. So it was uh, this one. one of the group. Uh, pretty neat. Rookie card. And then in the other one, the other hobby box, box topper was an actual card. Oops, there you go. Have a different camera angle today. And guess what it was? Checklist. <laughs> it's an actual 1971 card, but it is a uh, checklist. Hey, Jim Fergosi. I remember that guy. I've done something. <laughs> yep, so there's that. Oh, Joe Morgan up there. Jay Johnstone. Yep, 1971 at its best. All right. Checklist. You gotta love them. <laughs> okay, so uh, now my other stuff. Uh, I'll just go through here. I wanted to show you something uh, really neat that I found. I had pulled two short prints and they were uh, both these here, Aquino and Alvarez rookie cards, and they both have the see the action up there. Oops, action and action it means they're short prints or variations, whatever. And here's the actual card that is number 54 is the rookie stars card. I didn't even realize that until I had gotten this. I was like, oh, oh, that's pretty neat. So I have. That, which is those two on that card, which is the actual card, and then two rookies, whatever you want to call it, short print variations, that are that numbered card. So I thought that was pretty decent. Something different. Uh, all right, let me put this back. You'll see all the, the rest of the... I went ahead and everything is all sorted out. All the inserts are all sorted out already. You don't need to see those. And here's the one hit I received through the retail stuff. Um, Urshela? 
relic card. Yeah. So that's it was a nice. It's always a nice plus whenever you receive a a, a hit in a retail product. I'm not sure if it was a blaster or what. Probably was because I had some blasters. Maybe I don't know. oh mega boxes. It was one of the one of the mega boxes. One more thing I want to show you <laughs> before I get started. I know we're so anxious to get started on sorting these cards. Come on, Christopher. You said you were going to sort some cards. Sort some cards. Well, I wanted to show you something I got over here. I found it is pretty interesting. Oops, sorry about that. It's a something that used to if you, if anybody goes to Walmart and gets buys their um their brand pizzas, those giant giant pizzas. You know they're in that brown box. Um, not sure what they're called marketplace are they marketplace pizzas or market side pizzas giant pieces i usually get one we eat on it and then i put the rest in the freezer and we eat on it like two more times because it's so big or for our family or whatever but here it's a pack that was in one of those pizzas that i had forgotten about i kept the wrapper for it i don't know why just because to keep them all together probably so it's pretty cool the market side cards pack of cards that came with that uh, pizza this was only like a, just a couple of years ago i think or something let me see what the date is on the back of these uh, 2016 so 2016 yeah so four years ago <laughs> a little longer than a couple okay <laughs> wow time just flies by when you're old but yeah i thought it was something different to, to share um, marketplace so at least still every once in a while you can find a bonus pack of cards here and there but it's very very rare kind of kicking myself that i didn't get more pizza but you know we get to do it for a bunch of pizza you can't freeze that pizza you're supposed to have it at refrigerator temperature until you cook it you're not supposed to freeze it i guess and i don't know if you freeze it, it's not as good when you cook it so so there's that so anyways so what i did i did a lot of the legwork and sorting um what these are these are the 100s uh, you see here's 100s over here is the zero to 100 pow back there is 200s and 300s and then i have the quote unquote short print 400 401s and above are over there on the other side way over there i don't want to mess the camera up and get you dizzy but show it by showing but so i got them these these here are the 100s sorted by 10s and what i'm doing is i'm sorting them by ones now and then you know sorting them out for single cards and going into my binder that i will be eventually doing so now that i explained what i'm doing <laughs> i can get started here um it's been a bit a while so i don't know i don't really have much to say i mean a lot of things have happened over the past few months, over my break that I took from, oh, seven, that I took from YouTube. I actually took a break from YouTube and from the hobby altogether. I didn't really do anything hobby related. The cards, boxes of cards came in that I had, I had already ordered them like ahead of time. So the, um, the series one jumbo hobby box and the two heritage hobby boxes were pre-ordered so i received those and just went ahead and opened those at, at my leisure you know it took me a good like month to open them i just opened up a couple packs here and there just slow poking it up <laughs> kind of funny so these are 130 okay just wanted to make sure i'm in the right place here okay so here we go see all these doubles so I got, these are my doubles over here on, on these here. As you can see, the sorting tray is back because I've, I realized that the, yeah, it's a lot easier with the sorting tray, even if you have like five piles, it's easy, a lot easier with the sorting tray because you can put cards everywhere and anywhere and you don't have to worry about constantly moving cards and stuff. If you need to move something over, just go move it over instead of making sure that there's space and stuff like that yeah i found that i am i am missing a lot of cards 
well not a lot but like several even though i purchased pretty many heritage so there's no guarantee the full set when you buy hobby boxes of this i just look at them just to be sure that they're all the same picture and no variations real quick so put that underneath this and i think this pile yeah put that there all right see a start of ones on the very top of this pile here so it goes one all the way down to whatever 139 right now and now i'm on the 140s see 140 I mean, these are 150s, 160s, 170s, 180s, 190s, and so on and so forth. I haven't sorted these out, but they are sorted in. Those are all the 300s, and those are all the 200s. But they need sorted into the 10s like these, and then ones like I'm doing right now. So they do. Yep. Creaking, the creak, squeaking, queaking, creaking chair is back. I forgot to say that. Okay, guys. <laughs> I was going to go, the creaking chair is back. Wait for it. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to, I just went with the regular intro. Whatever. <laughs> yep, see, missing one. Missing number 144, it looks like. Oh, well. This is 149, 48, 47, 146, up two, 45, yeah, 143. So I'll have to watch that when I go to put them in the binder to skip, to skip a space for if I ever get the cards to fill the holes in my binder. So that, and plus they're at, so they're in order. I don't do them by teams now because I'm able to afford uh, a lot of cards whenever I want now, within reason. I mean, I don't buy those expensive things. I'm really thinking about not even getting Prism unless it's retail stuff this year because I saw the pre-sale price. They're like $250 for a hobby box of, of Prism baseball and no thanks it's not worth it with when the it should be i'm sorry it should be 120 bucks not 250 dollars so you could just have at that kids <laughs> won't be won't be me i'll just if it's not the store oh well i just won't collect it this year this seems to be the year of expensive expensiveness and if uh people don't buy it then maybe they'll learn People will buy, will buy it anyways because it's popular for some reason and people pay outrageous prices because they really want it. I, mean, I like cards as much as the next person, but it's not my life. <laughs> Far from being my life, yeah. I have a lot of other hobbies that I do. This just happens to be one of them, but I'm not allowed I can't do any other hobbies on here because it'll change things up and you'll have cross crowd cross crowding and I don't know. It's hard to describe YouTube stuff and how it works. It's like I messed up and had so much baseball on my channel for so long that now when I try to have like, you know, football, because I enjoy football cards, I can't because well, I can, sure, but nobody will watch it, or I don't get any views because YouTube doesn't promote it because I've done so much baseball. I guess that's the best, easiest way to describe how YouTube works. <laughs> we do one thing for a long time, it thinks that's the only thing that you do, and when you do something that's out of the ordinary, it doesn't, doesn't take especially like I was pretty pretty mad uh, got pretty angry because I had a purchased two hobby boxes of uh, Phoenix football last year I believe I opened that up and I didn't get 
hardly any views at all, yet you have these guys, you know, just regular guys with, you know, say one-tenth of the subscriptions that I have getting like 10 times the views that I have just because they do football stuff. And it's just weird. It just doesn't promote it, even though it's like the same thing. I don't know. Just odd is all. Well, I'll stop complaining about that. Complain, complain, complain. All you do is complain, Christopher. What's the problem? Yep. I don't know. Oh, look. These look like, <laughs> these look like they're already sorted. What in the world? I must have pre-sorted some upstairs or something. <laughs> Seven, six, eight, oh, what? Oh, six, yeah. Nine, sixty-eight, six, seven, six, 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 five, six, four, six, two, six, one, sixty. That was easy. I put them underneath because of how I take them off the top to put into the binder so that the top, top cards on the top are lower numbered. Oh, so this one's done. 170 is done as well. Huh. 81, 82, 83. Oh. Hey, this might go a little quicker. So these are already done and I didn't realize it. <laughs> 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. 199. All right, well, now it's off to the big piece here. I'll take off of the pile back there. I'll put, so these are the 200s. I put them here so that you can see how many are left. Hope, hopefully. All right. Oh, I'm just trying not to crunch the camera. I was trying to figure out a different camera angle because it's really kind of uncomfortable working around the camera all the time. It's just bizarre. It's like having something in front of you and you have to constantly work around it and so that's why sometimes it doesn't work. I was trying to like maybe figure out a setup over here or something that like comes down over here, maybe sometime. We'll see. I just wanted to get this one done because I promised I would have it out and that's what I'm gonna do. Just procrastinating all the time. It's just been, I've been working on it working on this for the last couple weeks here and there so what i'm doing is i'm sorting them by the tens see that's 228 so it's 10 10 20 30 40. oops the zero it's two zero one two three four two forty two fifty two sixty two seventy two eighty all right zero one two all right i was just trying to explain where the cards why i was putting the cards where <laughs> 51, 239, 1, yeah, uh, I still have to do that giveaway yet too, I got that, that dude sitting over there, someone at my LCS pulled an autograph of his, uh, first Bowman Chrome autograph of the, that Dominguez kid, yep, Posted a picture of it from my my LCS. Posted a picture of it. Lucky, lucky, I guess. I guess that's worth some money. See, I would sell that because I'm not stupid. But seems like a lot of people, a lot more people were interested in that uh, just regular Chrome card than I was. So there you go. Whatever. It's probably worth like ten bucks now.
zero. Oh yeah, two zero. Okay. Oh, creek goes the chair. Twenty minutes done already, and I didn't even hardly get any done. <laughs> Probably at least be three parts. But at least the set's only what four hundred cards. Well, four, however many of the short prints over there. So, so we'll see. I mean, it's not like it's going to take. A very long time, like the giant ones, the giant series flagship series one, series two, where there's many of each, many of each card. Wow. All right, here we go. Stand up for a little bit, just. Kind of annoying. <laughs> Hunching over a chair for 20 minutes. Oops, I guess I'll just take from this pile. There's 242. Seven. Ah, oh, first 70. <laughs> I keep forgetting to take some cards up with me upstairs that me where that is <clears throat> where my computer is for when I play like I've been playing Hearthstone off and on just because you know just to do my quests or whatever just do my daily quests but you still have <clears throat> a lot of slow people they're here really slow because they're either on a phone and, you know, I'm on a computer, so it's obviously quicker. Or they're just, you know, that person and they uh, take the whole time and take their very good merry time. And, and I could be sitting there sorting cards while they just josh around. So that's what I used to do. I used to sort some sort cards while while they rope me. Rope means rope me, meaning they take up the whole time. Even though, like you're on turn two, so there's nothing really to play on turn one or two most of the time. So when they rope you, they're being a you know. I don't swear, but you know what I mean. I don't swear on this channel, that is. I want it to be family friendly. YouTube approved. 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 Yeah, I just keep, because I could be, I could be sorting cards in between that, or in between turns, really. <laughs> Sometimes their turns take a while either way. Let's see here. That's a little better. Yep. Heat wave been hot out the last couple of days, like nineties, after having the sixties and seventies. Definitely hot outside. 228, all right. Ugh. This doesn't really take very long, but it's just a matter of doing it, really. It's the, you know, the tedious part. <laughs> Ugh. The tedious part of the hobby is sorting everything. But once it's all sorted, and then you go to put it together, that's where the foot is, and see where, see where you're at, what your collection looks like, on display. That's it. Two, two. Up, oh, we're going on twenty-five minutes. Well, two six, two four. 
I'll just do another little stack and then I'll close this up for this part one. Yeah, it looks like it is going to take a while, so I'm going to go like that. All right. So I'm going to probably sort what I can in this part, part one, and then part two. And then after part two, just if there's more left to sort, I will just go ahead and sort the rest of it. And then, and then get it ready for the binder and just part three will be the binder, bindering. <laughs> Off camera, there. Two, 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 zero. So it's like a plan. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should do four parts. Maybe I should just do it until it's done. I don't know. I'll see. So I can only do two parts right now, and then because I'm on I'm on my lunch break right now. I get an hour for lunch on Fridays because it's my quote unquote short day. I only work seven and a half hours. Well, I'm teleworking, so I can do whatever I already ate, ate earlier because I was hungry, so I don't have to, normally don't have to eat. I usually either take a nap or watch TV for lunch and stuff because I already had already eaten. <laughs> so it works, works for me. So it does. All right, so we get to the end here. Um, thanks for watching and all that stuff. Uh, I will try to put, but I can't do it until all the videos are posted. So, and I will post them an hour apart. So they'll be an hour apart like I do, but did before. And after that, once they're posted, I will post links Hopefully links in the description and links in, in the comment section and all that stuff. So you can find all of the episodes to this particular set easily. Um, or whatever this whole series of putting this particular 2020 Heritage set together. Um, yeah, I better uh, wrap this up before it stops because it's a camera. I still, still need to get a camcorder so I don't have to ever worry about that again. Because for whatever reason, phones only go up to maybe a half hour because of tariffs. I told you that before. Because if they went past to half hour or whatever, or however much memory that takes up, then it would be classified as a camcorder. And it's not a quote unquote camcorder. It's a it's supposed to be a camera slash phone. So <laughs> there you go. All right. Thanks for watching. I explained that again. Stay tuned for part two of episode 22 of putting the baseball card collection together. See you later.